For a while now, I've wanted to make my very own O-scale working steam engine, not one that's powered electrically, one that's powered by real steam. So I decided to build my own because the ones uh, that you buy that you can buy are really expensive and not very good, quite frankly. So I decided to build my own. And as you can see uh, first here is my very first test of a simple boiler design which just which it was just a, a glass jar really. It wasn't anything fancy. Um, but it boiled water. Uh, as you can see, there's lots of flame. There's enough to boil water. <laughs> so uh, over time, it, it got hot enough and the water boiled and steam came out a uh, copper pipe which I had uh, JB welded to the other side. And as you can see right now in the video, it's uh, starting to boil. But anyway, um, water uh, or steam came out the other side and I was feeling pretty confident. So I'll just let you look at this and then in a little while I'll uh, tell you what happened after that. Although the boiler seems to work great in the video that you just saw, uh, it kind of exploded on uh, the next test that I gave it, so I had to rethink my idea of a glass boiler. Uh, just a little while later, I realized that I had been pretty dumb in the past in using a uh, glass boiler and decided to use a metal boiler instead because metal is less susceptible to exploding and getting glass shards all over your basement. In this clip, I'm testing a boiler made of a tin can that I JB welded a copper pipe to. It worked really well. Uh, stay tuned and you'll see uh, how the volume of steam that comes out of the boiler is amazing. Uh, pretty soon in the future, I'll be bringing out some more videos of uh, further testing and you might even see a working O-scale steam engine that runs off the principles of steam. Enjoy! 